save your loadout on respawn plus other code what's up everybody this is Gunter Severlo today I have some code that I'm going to share with you one of them and the main focus is saving your loadout once you respawn let's go to the editor let's go to Malden I'm going to open up a mission that I put together This has multiple features that I'd like to show you. This is actually part of another mission that I built. I just separated this section. So to start off with the editor based stuff is we have two vehicles and they have vehicle respawn connected to them. So the delay for the respawn is 300 seconds, which is five minutes. If the vehicle gets destroyed somehow, then it will delete and then basically it will respawn back to its original position. So that's it for that part. And then inside the house itself, let's take a look. This, I have set this up as a four player co-op. If we go to the player, I have this code and each of the playable units uh, initialization box basically it'll remove all the weapons all the items all the vest the backpack headgear goggles etc it won't remove their uniform though so each one of these guys has it so you basically start with nothing but uniform on your back that's the whole intention behind this now if you noticed we have a lot of weapons in here so I'm going to turn off the overlay and kind of give you a quick tour of what we have here so here we have uh, a couple of shotguns. Just a note that these are from the Contact DLC. So if you don't have the DLC, you might get an ad if you pick these up. So I'm just letting you know. Basically, you have shotguns. This is the, the ammo for them in this box. And here we have uh, vanilla assault rifles to, I think this is the Apex D DLC for, for this one. So you got ammo attachments, sights, and so forth for all these guns, grenade rounds, etc. And then we have a table full of machine guns. Each one is ranging from vanilla to DLC weapons. You got Marksman DLC and uh, Apex DLC weapons. And this is the ammo box for this table. So you have the ammo, attachments, sights, etc. And then we have this table this is vanilla weapons and I don't recall if there's any DLC weapons in here. I think it's all vanilla. And then we have the ammo box for it which also has basically the clips, the weapon attachments like silencers and sights and so forth. And over here we have all the pistols. These are all vanilla. And then here is all the clips and ammo for them, weapon sights and silencers etc. And in the next room we have two tables of sniper rifles, each one ranging from vanilla weapons to all the DLC weapons, so Marksman, DLC, Apex. And then we have an ammo box for all the weapons here. It should have all the ammo attachments, like the silencers, and then you have sights, scopes, and so forth. And over here we have nothing but just ambience. Over here we have three ammo boxes. One is for grenades. You also have facts in here or first aid, first aid kits. Here we have equipment. I forget what's in there. I think it's like backpacks and stuff like that. Here you have uniforms and miscellaneous stuff. I'm sure you notice the spotlights that are in here so you can play this at night. Now the way to play this mission is basically you're going to want to play this in MP LAN. So we're going to put the overlay back on. So we're going to go to MP LAN. And you just pick pick whatever guy you want. And if you go to the parameters, you can change the weather to whatever you want. And you can change the time of day to any hour you want. So we're just going to leave it on noon. So here we are when you basically choose your guy open some of these ammo boxes like this one basically has uh, ammo for these weapons here and then you have these guns here and you go to this ammo box you have weapon sights bipods different attachment flashlights silencers uh, grenades and the 
with magazines. So if you just put it on magazines, you get the magazines, etc. And then we have machine guns with its weapons and attachments. And then we have the submachine guns, kind of mini assault weapons. And this is the ammo sights and what have you in here. That's the ammo. And then we have all your pistols. That's the weapons. We have flashlights, silencers, uh, sights, and basically all the clips and stuff that the pistols use. And if we open the door, go to the next room. Again, we have all your sniper rifles from the vanilla to marksman to Agpex DLC. And then you have your scopes, bipods, uh, different, different sights and silencers. You got the thermal weapon sights. And then of course you have all the ammo. You got 10 rounds each. And then here we have the grenades. In this we have just a lot of miscellaneous stuff. So we have first aid kits, mines, chem lights, explosives, and grenades, and smoke. Smoke grenades, and of course your smoke grenades that you can launch. And in the equipment, which I totally forgot what was in here, you have binoculars, laser de designators, night vision, toolkit, UAV, basic stuff like the watch uh, radio and stuff like that maps and then here we have uniforms so this we have masks bandanas helmets police stuff uh, backpacks assault weapons UAV bags UGV bags so this was kind of limited because it was set up for a specific mission that this was connected to this is part of the code so we're gonna get a couple of these and I'm gonna show you something Pretty cool. So basically, we're gonna get this. I'm gonna go out here. And one of the features in this mission, and I'll I'll show you guys the code after I go through this demonstration with you. But basically, if you get killed, you could revive and heal yourself at the same time. So provided you have a fac in your inventory, and I have two of them you could basically revive and heal yourself at the same time and it goes pretty quick but you have to kind of wait for the animation so it's kind of worth it i'm going to show you something else if we we'll get a couple of these So what we're going to do is, I'm going to show you something else. We're going to grab a, a weapon. It's got nine rounds in it. We don't need a lot. I'm going to grab another weapon. Let's grab this. That was the, the MX. So we need the uh, 6.539. 6.39. We'll just have one clip. That's fine. So we're gonna get some equipment. We got our binoculars. We'll take one of those. Definitely use a compass. And uh could use a watch too. And for the equipment, put a band-aid on, because that's really all we got available. Which we'll use. And that's good enough. So we have this. Now you can see in my inventory what we picked. We have the bandana. Assault rifle, the binoculars, we've got uh, the pistol with full clip, everything's got full clip, one grenade, one clip, uniform, backpack. So I'm going to show you guys something pretty cool and this is what this mission is about. Alright, so make a note, we got 20 rounds. And we got, we used three rounds there. And then we used... A grenade. And we have one fac. Now, since we're in multiplayer, we're going to respawn, so basically getting ourselves killed. And normally when you respawn, if you don't have anything but a base respawn, because that's what I have set up, 
then your guy is going going to default from his original whatever he had before. So if we go to our inventory, we have everything that we didn't use. So we use the grenade, obviously, that's not going to be there. So this is where the save loadout comes in. We have the map, the compass, the watch, the pistol, the rifle, the binoculars, everything here. Now, I want you guys to notice, look at how many rounds we have. We have 20 rounds. That's how many we shot off. And then same for the pistol. So we have six rounds. So this code that I'm, gonna, that I'm using, which I'll show you in a few minutes, will basically allow you to uh, save your loadout. And that's any weapon and then as many as rounds that you've used. And we're going to respawn. Something else I want to point out to you too. So technically, there should be a body there, right? But there isn't. Where did it go? All right, so that's another code that I added where your body will delete when you respawn. All right, so let's take a look at the code. We are in the mission SF Select Weapons Molden. I want to go over some of these scripts here to give you an idea of what they are and what the codes have. So starting with the description.ext, here I have set up a basic header with co-op, four players, then we have a load screen, uh, SF JPEG, which is this. It's basically a special forces dude. Author, which is me, on load name, respawn base, respawn delay is three seconds. That means when you die, you respawn in three seconds. I disable the AI, which is true, which means when you get into the server, the AI won't be there. So next we have class parameters, and this is for the weather. This is class weather, so you have Nothing to change here, but this is the code to change the weather. Then we scroll down to the class daytime, and by default it's set to noon. And this allows you to change the time of day to any hour of the day that you want. Alright, let's go to the next script, which is the INITSQF. This is the initialization script. All this code here is for deleting the corpse on respawn. So you can see delete at respawn. So once you're in multiplayer, when you like say you respond and you're able to run around, your corpse where you died at won't be there. So that's what this code does. That's all that is in this script. The next is mission SQM. Nothing to do there because that's the mission itself. Every mission you create will have a mission SQM, so you can ignore that. So let's start with this on player killed.sqf. Now what this does is Basically, it saves the player's loadout. It, it fetches the player's loadout. So whatever loadout you pick, this is part of the code that will save your loadout. This will be in the onplayerkill.sqf. Now here's where the, the code actually functions. What this code does, it removes the weapons, all the weapons, removes the goggles, removes headgear, the vest, all signed items, backpack, and then of course, uh, player set unit loadout get variable save player loadout so this is kind of these codes right here are kind of redundant because I already have these set on the player themselves it's up to you you can you can get rid of this and use what's already in the playable units or you could just have this and remove what's in the playable units so you have an option there but this is basically this is what saves the players loadout so whatever weapons gear bullets you shot everything will be saved and that's it now everything up here is the self revive self heal so this is what you can see here self revive self heal you need either a first aid kit or a med kit in order to revive and heal yourself if you get killed you don't have these and you have respawn set up obviously you you could reuse respawn the thing with respawn is Unless you have multiple positions set up, then you're going to respawn at one spot. Now if you, let's say you ran across the map or something, and you get shot and you're down. So instead of respawning, revive and heal yourself, and just basically get up and keep playing. And if you needed more first aid kits, then you could always, you know, loot an enemy corpse, provided they have a first aid kit on them. That's basically all I want to show you guys and I want to share with you guys. What I'm going to do is I'm going to 
zip this mission up and upload it to my Google Drive. I'll link it in the description of the video. I want to thank you guys for watching. I will catch you guys on the next video. Bye.